Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazer. Hope you had a lovely spring break. This week, in honor of spring, we're going to be painting a beautiful sunrise, sunset kind of sky and getting ready to paint on top of that some beautiful flowers that you see all over Texas this time of year. But before we do that, we're going to read this book. It's called I Am Peace, A Book of Mindfulness by Susan Verde and art by Peter H. Reynolds, who does really great illustrations. So here we go. I am peace. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water and I feel like a boat with no anchor. being carried away. I give myself a moment, I take a breath, and then I tell myself it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself and start to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle. My mind begins to clear. I am peace. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. I can say what I feel inside out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. I can hug a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune into me. Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. And I dream, we are peace. Now I chose this book mainly because there's a lot of really great warm colors in here and we can see them blending together. So the warm colors are yellow, orange, and red. And you can see they blend very nicely. You can see them blending in the tree and in the boy in the background. So we are going to be painting and blending colors just like that. So if you're at home, you're gonna need a paper. Now, if you don't have paint at home, you could use markers. You can blend with colored pencils. You could blend with crayon. They'll all work really well. Now for us at school, we're gonna be using paint. We're gonna have red, orange, and yellow. Now we are going to blend all these colors. So we're gonna go from red into orange, into yellow, and fill the page up so that it looks just like a beautiful sunrise or sunset, depending on what time of day it is. So first thing I'm gonna do is write my name on it, because we're gonna leave these here at school, if you're at school, as we're gonna paint something on top of this next week when this beautiful sunrise is done. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my brush, I'm gonna start with the red at the top, and I'm gonna go all the way across just like this. Now I'm going to come around and spray your papers, get, get them nice and wet because that's going to help this paint spread and that's really going to help our blending. So I'm going to spray your papers so we keep the paint real nice and loose. 
just like that. So I'm gonna go a bit down my paper with my red. So we're gonna wanna keep each section pretty even. So that means I'm gonna wanna have about this much red, this much orange, and this much yellow. But I wanna have a nice shift in between of red orange and yellow orange. So I've got my red here. Next, I'm gonna start with some orange. Now I want to overlap my two colors of paint. <coughs> that means I'm gonna take that orange and go over the red and bring some of that red down. So I'm blending my red and orange in together. Just like this. So we see those two colors blending in very nicely. I think I need a little bit more water to spread that paint out. All right, and then my final, when I get down to the bottom third of my paper, is going to be the yellow. So I'm gonna dip in my yellow, I'm gonna start Mixing that in with the orange here and creating a yellow orange. And then I'm going to fill my whole bottom in with yellow paint. One more spritz to make sure. Keep that paint real loose and blending into it. And as I want to see some really good yellow oranges and red oranges too. Let's make sure I get, if I see any gaps, I want to make sure I get them filled in. I want to see a whole lot of beautiful color. Yeah, does that look, starting to look like a sunrise, sunset? There's a lot of glare on the, from the lights in here, but you can kind of see that. So once I'm finished, I'm going to take my paper, carry it over to the rack, slide it in there to dry. We're going to leave these here, and then next week we're going to add something beautiful on top of it. So hope you enjoyed the painting this week, and we'll see you later.